All right, so the question is, I recently had some serious injuries that has taken me off my feet for 10 to 12 weeks specifically. I'm wondering how you encourage your coaches and athletes to help navigate the mental challenge of a serious injury as it relates to return to the sport, mindset, and self-identification. So you've kind of gone through some of this uh, with your knee. What would you kind of give as advice for this? All right, yes. So I tore my ACL regionals of 2014, so four years ago, but pretty recent still in my How'd it happen? mind. I <laughs> dropped down from a rope climb on the legless rope climb event, and when I landed, my knee dislocated. I fell, popped back in, and a couple weeks later, turns out I tore my ACL and I had to lateral meniscus tears in my right knee. Um, so it was Small pretty, little <laughs> pretty devastating at the time. Um, I remember, um, I think calling my coach Max crying. He wasn't sure how to respond. Uh, I started talking to my mom and one of the things that popped out in my mind, my parents were, I wouldn't say tough on me growing up athletic wise, but they pushed me and, um, my mom sent me a text and her response was just, well, you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up. So I was like, well, all right. <laughs> you, can sit and sulk, you can sit and sulk about your injury or you can start to overcome it and think about like the rehab process, how you're going to overcome this and come back better than you were before. Uh, so my full rehab was about six months until I was cleared to get back into full CrossFit running and everything. Um, and there were times that I would say I doubted myself. I doubted if I was going to be able to compete in CrossFit again. Um, and through that, I had to kind of like put things in perspective. I realized that like, for one, like CrossFit wasn't everything. It was something I was very passionate about that I love to do. Um, and so you can't take that for granted. But I guess during the recovery process, you just have to take it day by day, session by session. You're gonna take, as people say, two steps forward, you may take three steps back, but you're gonna gradually just keep climbing and climbing. And then before you know it, I was back to PRing my lifts. I was hitting, um, I guess, maxes that I had hit before surgery. And then 12 months down the road, I was back competing again at competitions. Um, and then I guess now, four years back down the road, I've been back to regionals twice, barely missed the games, and now we get to go compete in Dubai. Dubai. In a few, in a month, I guess. Yeah, month, five weeks. <laughs> um, so I don't know if that answers the question, if there's any yeah. more on the mental No, state. so I've had a few injuries myself. I mean, I grew up racing motocross. It's a little separate than CrossFit. And then when I first actually got into CrossFit, my first year, I just started, I was about two months into CrossFit. They had the open, I took 61st, so I was one qualifying spot out when they had that set up and format. Then in 2011, in the open, I actually fractured my L5, dancing at my brother's wedding. Uh, I jumped from my back to my foot or feet, slipped on the hardwood, nailed my back on the floor, didn't think anything else of it. Then went and lifted with my coach and was doing a snatch, stepped off the platform and pretty much collapsed after that. Um, so for me, my goal has always been competing and staying healthy and as soon as that happens, you just kind of go into like a slump. It's a tough thing to kind of get out of, but at the end of it, you have to kind of always see that there's grass is always greener on the other side. And this happened for a reason this is the way I've kind of looked at anything that's been thrown at me is that you just kind of have to accept it. There's nothing else you can do. So you might as well make the best of it. So immediately still kept coaching. I had people always demonstrate movements for me, found something that I was always still passionate about and that was coaching and working out. But even if I couldn't physically do that right then, I had other people that I could help and pursue as they reach their goals, weight loss or just GPP and CrossFit is making that kind of my priority then. And at that point, then I started working with Max. We started finding a plan going forward to rehab my back, get everything healthy after a full month or so longer than that of completely off of like not air squats, no nothing, but finding something that worked then came back and slowly kept chipping away. And then the next year I actually made regional. So I think, or I made regionals and then actually made the games my first year at regional. So I think for me, it was, it happened for a reason and taking that as a positive versus a negative and finding something good out of it, even if it's not always 
easy. You have to kind of find what motivates you and stick with it. When I created Training Think Tank, I wanted it to be just that, a think tank, a group of people that gets together and challenges each other's ideas on training. So what you watch in this video is one coach's beliefs. The other coaches and myself may or may not agree with what was said, but we're okay with that because we want to facilitate a discussion about training in the market.